The political pundits will long debate what went wrong in Jeb Bush's campaign, but they'll all agree that the former Florida governor was a fundraising machine. Donors gave more than $150 million to support Bush's presidential bid. So what happens to that money now that Bush is out of the race? We've got the answer in today's WSJ campaign Q&A. The millions of dollars backing Bush came from two main sources, his official campaign, which raised more than $33 million in total, and the super PACs backing him, like Right to Rise, which raised almost $120 million. Of course, the campaign and super PACs also spent millions of dollars to help fund Jeb's run. At the beginning of February, Bush's campaign had roughly $2.8 million on hand, and his super PACs had $24.4 million on hand. Now, there are a few places that money can go. First, there's the campaign cash, which is regulated by strict rules. Candidates cannot use the money for personal reasons, but if they helped fund their own campaign, they can use the money to repay themselves up to a certain amount. The money can also be donated to charities or political parties, and small amounts, up to $2,000 per election, can be given to other candidates. Then there's the super PAC money, which isn't bound by as many rules. Technically, the founder of the PAC could spend the millions of leftover dollars on private jets and exotic vacations, but that hasn't happened before and it isn't likely to happen now. The PAC could also continue raising and spending money to support or oppose other candidates. The possibilities are virtually endless, but the most likely scenario is that the money will be returned to donors. We reached out to Right to Rise USA, but the Super PAC has yet to make any decisions. That's the answer to today's WSJ campaign Q&A. And if you have questions about the 2016 election, tweet them to me at Shelby Holiday. See you next time.